Right, g'day guys, Clint here for dropshipdownunder.com.au. I hope you're having an epic day. Today I'm gonna, I've got something exciting to share with you, something that I think you're gonna get a lot of value out, and that is my five top hot niches for the Australian market right now. So with no further ado, let's rip into the video. Alrighty, thanks for joining us guys. I really appreciate your time. Look, um, as always, just before we kick off, make sure you click the link in the description below. We've got some fantastic free training um, that will really help everything you're doing right now, uh, especially if you're just starting out. Two hours of high level content that gives you the basics of how to drop ship in Australia. Um, you know, step by step. So yeah, check it out in the description below. But with, uh, again, with no further ado, guys, we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna share with you my five hot uh, niches for, for right now. Everything that's going on in the world, uh, a bit of, it's a bit of a bit of uncertainty, but in e-commerce terms, there's some really, there's some really, really hot niches that are, uh, that are going off the hook right now. So let's, um, uh, I'll share the screen with you and we'll jump right in now. Okay, here we are in Dropship Zone, a supplier, an Australian supplier, and uh, the only reason I'm on this site is just so I can give you an idea of the, the the five niches that I'm actually talking about and give you a few examples just to make it, just for the ease of it. Um, and I know actually, I know this is going to be funny, but like uh, uh, some people are going to be thinking to themselves, well, why is he showing his five hot, you know, hot hot uh, niche ideas and at the end of the day guys the way I see it is there's more than enough room for everybody okay you need to focus on what you're doing and uh, you know um, every store is unique every everyone advertises their store differently even if you've got the same sort of products I mean if everybody used dropship zone there's enough room if you are savvy enough to find a little spot on the internet and make some great money okay so I just thought I'd start with that but number one, guys, here we are, obviously, in the fitness niche, right? This niche right now is on fire. Um, for obvious reasons, everybody's, um, for all the circumstances that have been currently going on, everyone's sort of stuck at home and what have you. Um, the fitness niche is absolutely on fire. So as you can see here, guys, you can sell all sorts of different things, exercise bikes, you know, weight equipment, uh, everything related to home fit, fitness at home um, is just absolutely on fire. This is a great niche anyway, to be fair. Um, this is what we call an evergreen niche. So it never goes out of style or fashion. It's just an excellent niche. Um, you know, and again, you don't have to have a big general store. You could focus on spin bikes, for example, and have, you know, 100 different types of spin bikes, um, you know, different grades, uh, different quality. Um, but if you follow what I'm saying here, guys, this niche here right now, if you can find a little hole, a little spot in the market um, that you can make work, uh, and again, Dropship Zone has obviously got plenty of plenty of products, but um as always, I, this is what we consider sort of a bronze level supplier where anybody can just sign up, but they're a very good start uh, because you can get your store up and running. That's the that's the biggest challenge for most people, getting their store up and running and making those first few sales, you know? Um, and again, you can you, you can sign up with Dropship Zone whenever you, pretty much whenever you like, as long as you've got your store up and you've got an ABN, anybody can more or less sign up. Um, and they're a good start, but the, this is about niches, obviously. I'm not so much about suppliers, um, but yeah, fitness niche right now is absolutely on fire uh, for obvious reasons. People will still want to work out. They still want to look good. They still don't want to get ready for the summer, so to speak. And, um, you know, and everything that's going on in the world right now, everyone's sort of stuck at home. And it's this is the niche. This is my favorite niche at the moment. This one's trending off the hook. All right, so number two, next one, is camping and sort of outdoors generally. Um, and again, because international travel and all that sort of things is sort of out of, out of whack um, at the moment, outdoor living and outdoor, you know, traveling, camping, what have you, um, you know, sort of uh, holidaying locally is just, it's, Again, another highly, highly trending, trending um, 
niche, you know, sort of, it could be anything though. It doesn't have to be tents and, and sleeping bags. You know what I mean? It could, it could be, you know, uh, or a good, good example right here is, is barbecues or, uh, you know, a whole store could be based around hammocks. Um, whole store could be based around, you know, gazebos. I mean, these are just examples, outdoor living type niches. Um, these, you know, because again, this is another evergreen type niche uh, if, and very Australian because obviously our entire Aussie lifestyle revolves around the great outdoors. Well, it does for many, many people. Um, and, you know, these are, this is a fantastic niche. But again, because of everything that's going on in the world right now, it is a, it's a powerful niche. Um, it's trending again off the hook, very similar to fitness, which is which is awesome. And again, th these niches are hot right now, super hot right now because of, you know, everything that's going on in the world right now. So um, they were always, the, all five of these have always been a great niche, but for right now, they are just absolutely trending off the hook. Um, you know, fire pits, another good example, you know, people are sitting at home, they want to, especially in winter as well. I mean, fire pits are good anytime, but you follow what I mean. So, yeah, you know, outdoor tables, people want to try and get together uh, when they're allowed. <laughs> uh, anything like this, all this outdoor gear, it's, it's, it, it, it's selling like crazy right now. So that's just to give you a bit of an idea. You know, even uh, here's a good example, right? I know, I know of somebody who focused only on these portable fridges and has done very, very well. I'm not trying to share everybody's niches out there, but I'm just giving you an idea of what's possible, right? You know, um, that he sold that store some time back now anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But, you know, just these portable, just these portable fridges, there's tons of different brands, different sizes. And, you know, he become the authority within just within that little spot on the internet. And he built a successful dropshipping store on the back of that, it was making a few hundred grand a year. He was doing very well. It just goes to show that anything's possible, guys. You know, and again, if you've watched any of our um, content, you'll know that one of our first niches was sort of in this space, which was caravan covers. Um, I'm not sure that Dropship Zone sells any of those, but the point is, any niche can work. It just you just need to find a little a little spot in the uh, you know a little corner of the internet for you to make your mark. You don't need these big general stores. You need to focus down into a smallish niche and 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 do a great job on your marketing, and you can find success, guys. All right. Okay. Number three in my top five list is office office furniture and office related products. Home office, obviously. Um, tons and tons and tons of people are working from home now, which it makes this a no brainer. Um, you know, they want to get more comfortable. They want a better. They want a better office chair. Um, you know, they want to uh, upgrade their. You know, their office. You know, with some. You know, some fancy things that's sitting around now. Uh, when normally they wouldn't have hardly ever worked in that space, um, you know, so they can they want to buy a fancy clock or you know some some office decor, uh, you know, again fancy chairs, um, a new desk, etc. Or maybe some people have never even had to work from home and they've had to deck out a whole brand new home office. Uh, again, these are all related to what's going on in the world right now and, and limitations on what movement and what people can do and, and how they work. Uh, the world's changed uh, in many different ways over the last few, well, last 18 months or so. And these are the, these are the niches that are off the hook, trending off the hook. These And, and what's amazing is online and, and e-commerce generally has exploded. I mean, this um, for, for everything that's so, there's been so bad about what's happened uh, in recent times, this is in many ways has been a uh, uh, coup for e-commerce e because people are less likely to go out and more likely to buy online. Um, another good, you know, things like stand-up desks, all this kind of stuff. It's all great. It's all good stuff, guys. It's all good stuff. You know, cabinets, different types of desks, um, you know, uh, filing. I don't know. I don't know why vacuums in there. I guess that's office. But you get the idea, guys. Everyone's so many more people are building out new home offices, what have you. And you know, um, you get the idea. You know, filing cabinets, drawers, all this sort of stuff. So if you had a bit of, if you had a bit of insight, come up with a few different ideas. Um, home office, home furniture uh, is you know off the hook. It's it's trending heavily, and another great niche. And you don't have to just be selling chairs and desks. There's other things related to home office if you put your mind to it. Um, where you could do really, really well. All righty, let's kick into number four. And this almost seems like a no-brainer, but 
Um, pet care, it's always been an evergreen niche. It's always a great niche, but right now people are with their pets more, more often, you know, um, they're, you know, uh, becoming more and more attached, I guess. And with the extra time that people are at home or, you know, and what have you, you know, they are thinking about their pets. Obviously they're playing with them a lot more. So they're thinking about different toys or, you know, this is just how it is guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going off the, of the, the data that I see, you know, in Google trends and what have you. Um, you know, and, and people are spending big on pet supplies right now. So, I mean, you can, so many different niches, obviously, <laughs> these pet strollers. I mean, talk about a spoiled pet, you know, taking your pet for a walk. That's, that's, a, that's an inversion of reality. <laughs> but um, anyway, you get the idea, you know, these, I always like the idea of these cat trees. I think you could build a whole niche, a whole store around these things. Um, people love their cats and, you know, like to watch them climbing around and actually give them some exercise in scratching up the, uh, the, the cat tree instead of the, 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 the lounge. Um, you know, if you've got birds, things like that, bird cages, you could do a whole niche just around bird cages. Um, but the pet niche generally, again, it's very, very, um, it's an evergreen niche. I mean, even if you went into it now and, and, it, and it, you know, did a slight downward trend, it wouldn't be much because the pet niche is always evergreen, as I say. And if you don't know what evergreen means, it just means it's, it's always a great niche. It's always going to be around. Um, prep products might come and go within the niche, but you know, it's, it's never going away. It's one of those things that are, that are, um, will always be a great niche because people love their pets. It's, it's really quite simple, but you get the idea guys, you could be building, you know, just, you could even build a store just around heavy duty waterproof dog beds and have, you know, every different size, shape and color you could ever imagine and, and find that little space. I mean, it probably isn't very, a very high ticket item. Um, I prefer higher ticket items, but you get the idea. Find that little spot. I keep emphasizing it. Find that little spot on the internet, make it your own and make a great little business for yourself and, you know, get yourself out of that nine to five grind and, and catch in on some of this online action. All right. The next one and final one um, is home furniture and home decor as well for that matter. You know, people are sitting around in their houses uh, a lot more now and, you know, various restrictions and everything is going on in the world. And, you know, they're just sitting around going, hmm, I wouldn't mind changing that. I wouldn't mind changing this. I don't like the look of that. You can, you can, you're probably doing it yourself. Um, you know what I mean? And you, you think, and you, when people get bored, they like to renovate and update and upgrade. And you know how it goes. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I know my missus is on a rampage at the moment. So, um, you know, <laughs> you know, anything from, you know, anything from sofas, you know, you know, little decorative chairs, all this sort of stuff. It's, it's all good. You know, um, I mean, you could build a whole store around recliners, uh, you know, coffee tables, you could build a whole store around any of this stuff. Um, you know, anything like that home furniture and home decor. And I mean, even upgrades, you know, here's it. It, it, this is this is for an entertainment cabinet, but even things like um, you know fancy lamps, um, uh, you know art uh, upgrades to art lamps, um, you know any little you know decorative pots, indoor 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 um, plants, all this all this sort of stuff. Home decor generally, um, not just furniture, is red hot niche right now. I mean, again, it's another evergreen niche. But, you know, it's never going away, but. Right now, people have got more time on their hands at home um, and, you know, they're, they're floating about their house thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind upgrading this, I wouldn't mind upgrading that, uh, you know, and, and what have you. So you get the idea, guys. So there's my 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 five top um, hot, super hot niche ideas right now, and that's home fitness, um, outdoor living, camping, uh, and, and what have you. Third one was the office supplies and office furniture, what have you. Um, obviously the pet pet supplies, which is never going out of fashion, but you know, again, exploding right now, absolutely on fire. Final one, furniture and home decor. All right, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like the content, give us some big thumbs up and all that. Subscribe, uh, and you know, make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of the extra content that we that we pump out every week. Uh, again, also make sure you click the link in the description below guys, check out our free training. It is very, very comprehensive, over two hours of fantastic content that will really, uh, you know, help you surge forward in your new venture. It gives you all the basics, all step by step, um, on how to drop ship right here in Australia. So that's it guys. Um, we'll wrap it up. Keep living the dream. See you in the next video and, um, cheers.